Hello and welcome back, I'm Sean. Another great Moondrop product launch and I'm excited to share with you all the capabilities and performance of these earbuds. So let's check it so out. So first off, I love the design of these earbuds. It comes in a pretty usual Moondrop case design with the open top, but this time it comes with a red transparent case to house the earbuds inside and I think it looks really cool. So as to most Moondrop earbuds, I also like that Moondrop included a silicone case for these earbuds and it's not your regular case, but one with a flip open top. So all you need to do is press here and the top will pop open so it's very cool very unique and i also love the sound signature of these earbuds and the combination of the 13 mm large sapphire coated dynamic driver as well as a magnesium alloy balanced armature driver definitely gives this earbuds a sound signature that you'll love and we'll talk a little bit about that later and i also love that you get support with the moon drop app and you also get high quality bluetooth 5.3 chipset that supports ldac lc3 aac and sbc codec so you get all the support you want for high-res audio wireless so there are also some things that I think can be improved from these earbuds and first of all is the ANC and I think it works decently well but definitely not as good as many modern ANC earbuds. Another thing that I don't really like is the battery life for an earbuds like that. And for another Moondrop earbuds, the Block, 6 hours is good but earbuds comes with ANC and LDAC support so you're only getting 6 hours and 18 hours with this case and this is without ANC or LDAC turned on. So with ANC you're looking at roughly about 4-5 to five hours of per charge and with LDAC on as well you're looking at about two to three hours per charge so so depending on the volume that you play at you might get even less battery life you also don't get any water resistant rating for these earbuds but this is typical to most moon drop earbuds and finally this case that we have here is kind of like a blessing and a curse and you get that case to protect your earbuds inside but once it is on it's the hardest thing in the world to remove and well honestly not that you need to remove it but the silicone grips so tightly to the plastic of the case that makes it very difficult to remove so that's something to take not about. So that's my list of the things that I dislike about this earbud. So with that said, this earbuds comes in at a really great price at only 75 US dollars or about 326 Malaysia ringgit. And if you find value in what you hear so far and like what you see, do subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that YouTube algorithm can pick this up. And if you want to buy these earbuds, do check out my links below. So let's get back to the video. So let's talk about what I like about this earbuds and it is the sound quality. And first off with the Moondrop app, you get five different EQs to play with, but there isn't any manual EQ to adjust further but the fire does give you a good scale to mess around with all this earbud sound. So bass wise this earbuds definitely gives you sufficient thumb but more like a high resolution bass thumb where the bass is not the deepest uh, but it gets generated well. So some bass on doing it right will sound clean and clear, generates well uh, but they are not deep. So, so mid bass here is also the same story where it is high quality thumb but not deep or too bassy. So with the 13mm sapphire coated dynamic driver which is really big for an in-ear earbuds generating a lot of mid and lows for these earbuds giving it that power and separately there is also a really cool magnesium alloy BA driver that drives most of the high notes in these earbuds giving you that very satisfying clean and highs. So mid vocals is also forward and present which is really well tuned. So for an earbuds to be able to cover the entire spectrum with good clarity uh, also just to let you know this is tested on the club EQ which is the default EQ for these earbuds and you can experiment with all the different EQs that comes with these earbuds to further customize it to what you like. Also, these earbuds come with a THD or, or total harmonics distortion of less than 0.1%, which is rare to see on an in ear earbuds, but also means it has really low distortion. So, this is a test to see if the Moondrop Ultra Sonic is a good earbud still making phone calls. So, this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So, what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So I think this earbuds case comes in a very nice design. It comes with a red top here which is also transparent so you can see what is inside of the case. And at the bottom here you get some design as well as the ultrasonic uh, model at the bottom here with some barcodes. And at the back here you also get the nice moon drop branding there. So at the side here you can see this how the earbuds fit inside the case. So this is again a pull out earbud so very similar to what you see with the uh, other moon drop products here. Also on the case what you get at the front here is also an LED indicator to tell you the battery status of the case and at the bottom here is also a type C charging port for you to charge the earbuds up. So there's also no wireless charging found on this case. 
So from an earbud standpoint, this is your typical AirPods Pro style ear tips. And at the side here, you do get a nice design with the Moondrop branding there. Uh, and I always think that Moondrop makes very nice design and they always add certain types of accent to each of their earbuds, which kind of feels like a collector's item at this point. And at the front here, you're going to get a black uh, silicone tip, which I really prefer to be uh, color matching silicone tips with the earbuds, but that's not what you're going to get. And inside the ear guides are also uh, made of plastic. So the earbuds also gets a good volume performance from Moondrop and a comfortable volume comes in at about 25% and I get to a loud volume at around 90% volume and still has a tiny bit of volume left to really make this earbud sounds pretty loud. So the Moondrop app here it uses the latest version of Moondrop's latest app and not the old clunky one that don't really work. Uh, but the app here is simple and co not complicated to use at all and at the home page here this is where you see your earbuds but there are no battery indicators for your earbuds or your case. You're also going to get ANC control here between noise reduction, close or transparent, very simple controls here. But the good news here is that you get to toggle your ANC button settings. So you get to toggle it to just go between ANC on and transparency mode if you don't want to have ANC off in as part of your controls. If you do use a compatible device that supports high res audio, you get to select the function setting, uh, which inside you get the gain settings, low, medium, high, and also the codec selector for LDAC and LC3. And under tuning, this is where you get to adjust that 5 EQ tuning, including the club, which is the default one, uh, monitor, reference, 89XX, as well as 336XX. So those are all the different EQs uh, that comes preset with these earbuds. You also get to change all the touch controls on these earbuds, but it's upside down where you set Set what gesture to toggle which feature instead so that's kind of unique so apart from that you also get to update your firmware and also check out the user manual inside the app itself so the ANC performance here is good but it doesn't cut out everything as you would with other flagship ANC earbuds out there and from my experience reviewing their earbuds they don't really emphasize so much on ANC performance but more on uh, delivering it as a you know very high quality sound signature earbuds and it delivers the ANC as more like a small bonus add-on. In the low humming noise test, road noise fares uh, not as well as the airplane cabin noise and you still get quite a bit of uh, noise coming through as compared to the airplane cabin noise where most of it can be cut off by about 70% and if you put on soft playing music, it does a good job drowning them out. Human chatters is where this earbud suffers a little bit where a lot of environmental noise comes through and it lowers it probably around 50% only uh, with some music playing it's slightly better but not tremendously good. The transparency mode here is very natural and you don't get that superhuman quality but rather you feel like you're not wearing any earbuds and wind buffering is also decently good but in high wind situation you still get a little bit of buffering and with that i'm giving these earbuds an anc performance of 7.7 .7 out of 10. the 55 milliseconds gaming mode on these earbuds also works fantastically well in real time and you're not going to experience much latency and gaming with pubg and watching movies and videos is great with these earbuds so anyways let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds So good earbuds, but there are some flaws I wish I could fix with uh, in future firmware, but I also hope to see earbuds with ANC and LDAC come with bigger and longer lasting battery life. So with that, I can't say that these are the earbuds to get, but something to consider if you want to focus solely on good sound quality and battery life doesn't really bother you. And if you want a simple Moondrop earbuds that does everything well and comes with a nice half in ear design with the design language of the ultrasonic, then you definitely need to check out the Moondrop blog video over here. So I'll see you over at that video.